Welcome to another example on how to solve a two-step equation with fractions. In this video, we want to solve the equation by first clearing the fractions and then solve for x. However, there is another video where we solve this exact same equation by leaving the fractions in the equation and solving it just like any other two-step equation. But because our goal is to clear the fractions, let's review our steps. The first step is actually optional, but we're going to do this. We're going to build fractions that have the same least common denominator, just like we do when we add and subtract fractions. Then, we're going to multiply each fraction by the common denominator to clear the fractions from the equation. And then we'll solve for x by adding or subtracting to isolate the variable term, and then multiply or divide to solve for the variable. Before we do any of this, though, notice that we have a mixed number in the equation which we first want to write as an improper fraction. So two and three-fifths would have a denominator of five, and then five times two is 10 plus three is 13, so two and three-fifths is equal to 13 fifths. At the same time, let's write the denominators in prime factored form, but in this case, notice that five, two, and three are already prime, so we'll just have equals one-half, and then minus two-thirds x. Now, once we have the denominators in prime factored form, as long as the denominators contain the same prime factors, we can build the least common denominator. The least common denominator would be the least common multiple of five, two, and three, which is also the smallest number divisible by five, two, and three. Of course, one way to find the least common denominator is to find the least common multiple by listing the multiples of two, three, and five. Looking at our list, notice how the least common multiple would be 30. But this is sometimes difficult to determine, so we're gonna build it using the prime factors. What I mean by that is, if our denominators are in prime factored form, as long as they contain the same prime factors, we will have our least common denominator. So for example, notice our first denominator is five, it does not contain a factor of two or a factor of three, which means we're gonna multiply this first fraction by a factor of two and a factor of three, both in the numerator and denominator. Now looking at the second fraction, notice how it doesn't have a factor of three or a factor of five, so it's going to need a factor of three and a factor of five in the numerator and denominator. And then following the last fraction, two-thirds x or two x over three, does not have a factor of five or a factor of two, so we'll multiply both the numerator and denominator by a factor of five and two. Notice how now each denominator contains the same prime factors and the product is 30. So now we have 13 times two times three, which is equal to 78, so this first fraction becomes 78 thirtieths equals, here we have 15 thirtieths, and here we have two times two times five, that's 20 times x, so that'll be 20 x over 30. Notice how now we have a common denominator of 30, we can clear the fractions by multiplying both sides of the equation by 30, or each fraction by 30. So we're gonna multiply this by 30 over one times 30 over one, and times 30 over one. Notice in each product, we have a factor of 30 over a factor of 30 that would simplify to one. 30 over 30 simplifies to one here, here, and here. Notice all of our denominators are one, so now we have the equation 78 equals 15 minus 20x. Notice how once the denominators were all 30, this equation came from setting the numerators equal to each other. Now I do want to point out that we didn't have to take all this time to build the least common denominator. If we recognized that the least common denominator was 30, just by looking at the original equation, we could have multiplied this equation here by 30 to clear the fractions as well. And I do want to show that. So starting with the original equation, where we convert the mixed number to an improper fraction, we would have 13 fifths, equals one-half minus two-thirds x. And now we're gonna multiply each fraction by 30, or 30 over one. If we do it this way, it does save time, but notice how we do have to simplify each product before multiplying. Five and 30 simplify to one and six. Two 
two and thirty simplifies to one and fifteen, and three and thirty simplifies to one and ten. Now notice all the denominators are one, and thirteen times six is seventy-eight, equals, here we have just fifteen, and here we have minus two x times ten, or minus twenty x. So notice how this equation and this equation are the same. So notice how either method works, but if we have a hard time finding the LCD, building it like this is a nice way to go. Now we still have to solve this two-step equation here, so our first step is to isolate the variable term, so we want to undo this positive fifteen by subtracting fifteen on both sides. Seventy-eight minus fifteen is equal to sixty-three. On the right side we just have negative twenty x, so we'll divide both sides by negative twenty to solve for x. So we have our solution, x equals negative sixty-three twentieths, which doesn't simplify, but we may be asked to write this as a mixed number. The mixed number would be negative, and then to find the mixed number, we would divide sixty-three by twenty. Well, there are three twenties in sixty-three, three times twenty is sixty. So the mixed number is negative three and three twentieths, the remainder over the divisor. And this would be our solution. We already verified this solution works in a previous video when we solved the same equation when we left the fractions in the equation and solved it as any other two-step equation. So that's going to do it for this video. I hope you found this helpful.